It's time for this hour's news roundup here on NHK World. I'm James Tengon in Tokyo. We begin with yet another accident involving a U.S. aircraft in Japan. An American military helicopter crashed as it tried to make an emergency landing outside a training field in Okinawa. A CH-53E Super Stallion helicopter belonging to 1st Marine Aircraft Wing was conducting regularly scheduled training when it was forced to make an emergency landing at a field outside the northern training area due to an in-flight in fire at approximately 5.20 this afternoon. There were no injuries to the crew or civilians as a result of the incident. Local first responders attended to the incident quickly and extinguished the fire. The cause of this incident is under investigation and there is limited information at this time. We are currently working with local and military police to secure the site for fall-on investigation and for everyone's safety. In this video, you can see fire and black smoke billowing from a U.S. Marine CH-53 helicopter. Okinawa police say it landed in a vacant grass field along a road on Wednesday evening. There were seven people on board. U.S. military personnel cordoned off the area and put out the fire. The CH-53 helicopter is deployed out of the U.S. Marine Corps Futema Air Station in Okinawa. The 30-meter-long, 15-ton carrier helicopter can fit up to 55 people. This isn't the first time an accident involving this type of helicopter has happened in Okinawa. Thirteen years ago, a CH-53 helicopter crashed into the campus of Okinawa International University, causing serious damage to buildings. This is the second accident in recent weeks in the prefecture involving a U.S. aircraft. Last month, a U.S. Osprey made an emergency landing after it was leaking oil. Okinawa Governor Takeshi Onaga has been calling for the U.S. to reduce its military presence in his prefecture. He says the bases endanger residents. We strongly demand that U.S. officials thoroughly study the cause of the accident and disclose it. They should not fly this type of helicopter until the cause is determined. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe said in a TV Asahi news program that the accident is extremely regrettable. He says he's committed to easing Okinawa's burden of hosting U.S. bases. About 70% of U.S. military facilities in Japan are based in the prefecture.